course it does. Sorry. Uh, sir, raise your right hand. Do you swear and affirm any testimony you give before this court will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? I do. All right, have a seat. And when you get comfortable, state your name for the record. John Lambert. All right. And Mr. Lambert, what do you do? Um, I work for a home automation low voltage contractor doing smart home technology. How long have you done that for? Uh, probably 20 years. Do you, where, where is it uh, located out of? Uh, current company is located in Atlanta. Okay. Well, where do you live? Uh, I live in Forsyth County and Cumming. Okay. Um, do you ever do um, security installs and things yes. such as that in Cherokee County? Yes, sir. Are, are you aware of the property 20, 2155 for sale lane? Yes. We didn't do the original install. We've only serviced it, uh, but yes, I'm familiar with the property. When did you start servicing that property? Uh, I know it was a long time ago, so best guess. Yeah, year. maybe 2012-ish, best guess. Okay. So presumably around the time they bought the property? To the best of your knowledge? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been okay. a few years. Um, did you service that property around 2017? Yeah, sometime around the end of 2016, 2017. Right. Did you ever have any interaction with Gary Ferris? Yes, yes. How about Scott Ferris? Uh, if, is that, if that's his youngest son, I'm, I don't know the family very well. I know the last visit I was there, his one son was just back from the service, just okay. came back from the military. If that's Scott, I. I you don't know a name? I, I, don't, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know any names. Okay. So we'll just clear that up a little bit. Yeah. Uh, you're aware there is a son who was in the service and he was the youngest son? Correct. Okay. Uh, did this person, uh, the, this youngest son, did they live on the property? Did, uh, uh, I think he was in the, above the barn or something on the property. Okay. Did you ever have any interaction with him? Uh, that one visit, yeah. Okay. Well, uh, we'll go ahead and just jump in real quick. Sure. Um, Tell the jury um, what your interaction with, uh, well, let me ask you this first. Did you ever have any interaction with Gary and the youngest son together while they were together? Yeah, that one time on the last visit I was at the house. All right. And tell the jury what, what that visit was like. Uh, I mean, it was a little weird. Um, they were, I can't remember what they were bickering about, but they were kind of bickering about something. And I have kids. So I bickered with my parents. It happens. But I, me I would never do it in front of somebody working in my house or somebody that wasn't in the family. So I just thought that was weird. That's all. all right. Do you recall any uh, statements that the uh, other son made? Uh, not word for word, not exactly, but it was something like he couldn't wait for them to go, both of them to go, so he can just have that property to himself. Something to that effect. Again, it was over that, six, this, seven years ago. So. Okay. Did this interaction between Gary and the youngest son? Uh, did it cause you any concern? Uh, I just, I just, it felt weird. I just thought it was a little bit weird at the time. No, but you know, and then after, after I heard the news, but you know, it made me think of it, and that's when I reached out to a friend to say, hey, just have the detective call me so I can just say what I, you know, okay. say my last interaction with him. <clears throat> so after you initially heard about there being a death on the property, you had made some type of contact to law enforcement. Yes. Okay. And were you ever um, interviewed by law enforcement? Uh, it was over the phone, quick phone call. I believe that was it. You, was it one of the um, Cherokee County deputies? Yeah. Do you know? Okay. Yeah, I don't remember his name. But it was one of the Cherokee detectives. Okay. Uh, and uh, you also uh, told the deputy something about hearing gunshots. Correct. Okay. Can you tell the jury about that? Yeah, it was, uh, I guess it was July 3rd, 2018. And uh, I don't remember if it was 9 or 10. It was a little bit later, 9 or 10 o'clock. It wasn't fireworks. It was just a couple, couple gunshots. Weird at the time. I would say maybe 10 o'clock, 9 o'clock. I, I don't remember exactly. Okay, that's perfectly night, fine. But, uh, now, where were you staying at when you heard these gunshots? I was uh, at my ex-girlfriend's house, uh, which is about a mile away from uh, the Ferris's house. All right. And did those gunshots that you heard cause you any concern to contact law enforcement? Um, at the time, no, it's Cherokee, North Cherokee County, you hear gunshots once in a while. In Forsyth County, you hear gunshots once in a while. Just that close to, that late at night was just a little weird, but at the time, no. Okay. And did, uh, did you also hear any fireworks about that time? Um, not around the same time, but that night, I'm sure, either earlier or later that night, there was fireworks. And going back to when you were uh, at the residence, did you ever see any type of odd behavior between Gary and Melody Ferris? Um, not, not that I could recall. I think I maybe saw Melody once or twice in all the visits over there. And, um, 
Nothing. Yeah, nothing that I could. Okay. Fix. So the only interaction between any of the family members that you saw that gave you any concern was between Gary and Scott. I just, yeah, I just. Yeah, I just thought it was. It just. I had a weird feeling from it. That's all. But okay. But you know. No further questions, Judge. Thank you, Your Honor. Please court. Ms. Lambert, how are you this morning? I'm good. Yourself? I'm pretty good. You don't want to be here, do you? I don't think anybody does, but yeah. No. Uh, never thought you'd come in and be testifying a murder case, would you? No, I mean, the last, when I talked to the detective in 2018, that's the last, I, I did, I'm not a big person on the news. I have no idea until I got subpoenaed a few weeks ago and totally forgot about it. Right. Well, you agree with me that uh, you just had a, a gut feeling something was just not right, so that's why you contacted law enforcement? Um, well, between hearing the gunshots and the interaction I had the year before, and it being in Gary Farris, you know, the was limited interactions, only services, maybe five, four or five times, been to his house to services. So, but he was always a nice, nice genuine, great guy. Right. Uh, so, yeah. That, you you know. just want to give law enforcement any information that you had, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was those gunshots that concerned you, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. It was, because it was unusual. It was unusual that night, and you were about, uh, you were a little north, you were staying in a home a little north of the uh, Purcell Lane. Uh, Scott and uh, Gary's residence. Correct. And Scott's who we're talking about, the, the son that was there? He, if that, he, I don't know the family members' names, uh, the youngest son that just Yeah, the one who lived the there, right? Yeah. Worked on the property? Yeah, yeah that's Scott. Yeah. Okay. Uh, tall guy? Yeah, tall. Yeah. And you agree with me that this was not, they were not about to get in a fist fight or anything like that? No, no, no. no. In fact, I think when I asked you on a scale of one to ten, ten being fist, fist of cuffs, one being nothing, you said it was round of one? Yeah, I mean, Parents bicker with kids. I, the only thing that I just felt weird doing it in front of. Right. First time meet me doing it. For, I would, like if I argue with my kids, it would be in, with my kids and nobody else in front of right. me. I mean, you're that's not saying that. Parents, no, but yeah, that's. Yeah, it was just. You, you grew in the parents and children argue, right? Well, of course. Yeah, yeah. And, and sometimes we we argue with our parents uh, uh, in situations where we may not want to. We go back home and look and say, well, maybe I shouldn't have said that with other people around. Of course. Like that. Yeah. But you never felt like Scott was threatening his dad or anything, did you? No, no, no. Never felt like it was a violent incident or anything like that, right? No. It's just when you knew that there was a murder on the property with Gary and you knew what you knew and then you heard those shots, you felt like you should just contact law enforcement, right? That, yeah, that's it. It's just maybe think back to that last visit there, which I hadn't even thought about until I heard the news and said, hey, let me just at least. Fair enough. You know. Say now, those gunshots, I, that was. Tuesday, July 3rd, 2018, around, I think it was 9 or 10 o'clock? Sometime around then, yeah. And it was three, four shots? You remember how many shots you heard? I, it was a couple. If I have it written down when I talked to the detective back then, it would, that would, yeah, it's over, you know, six years. I don't, yeah, I don't recall now exactly what it was. If it was written down on whatever I spoke to the detective back then, it was, a, it was a, pretty sure it was a couple. Uh, okay. Maybe two, I, I, I don't remember for sure. But it was such a time of night that it was odd that gunshots were being fired then, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it wasn't hunting time or shooting time or anything like that, right? Yeah, and I don't know what shooting time is or when hunting season is, but Cherokee County, Forsyth County, you hear gunshots once in a while. Just but you, not you when do, it's night? Not, like not, yeah, not when I'm laying in bed at night. It was a little late. Okay. You agree with me that it was those gunshots that gave you concern that you called law enforcement? Uh, yeah, but once I heard that they uh, found Gary, uh, that's when I wanted to say, hey, let me just, I heard gunshots at night. I wanted to talk to somebody, just let them know I did hear gunshots that night. No, thanks for doing that. We yeah. appreciate it. Have a nice day, okay? Okay, thank you. Just two follow-up questions. All right. <clears throat> Mr. Lambert, to the, the best of your ability, can you recall to the jury what you remember Scott saying? Uh, I can't tell you what they were arguing about, whether it was taking care of the property. I re really don't remember, but he said something to the effect that, you know, uh, when his parents go, he can't wait to just take over the place. Something, something to that effect. Again, not, not a quote. I'm trying. Yeah, that's. It was something to that effect, but I can't remember exactly from six years ago. But what, what I, I was can, said. I completely yeah. understand. Mm -hmm. uh, last thing is, when you heard these supposed gunshots on July third, mm -hmm. um, were you uh, first? How far away is your residence approximately? About a mile. Okay. Uh, were you inside or outside of the home? Inside, and it's an older, older home that was built in like the 20s, which doesn't have much insulation and win, win, old windows. It was an older home, so it wasn't. Uh, uh, yeah, that's all you could. You hear every noise in the house. Okay, from no, outside. No problem. But you were inside. Yes, sir. Okay. No further questions, sir. All right. Anything else? 
Judge. All right, you can be excused. Thank you, sir. All right, to our next witness. Yeah, we call that Thomas. All right.